I'm gonna do a little demo uh, kind of showing you one of the techniques that I use in most of my paintings and pattern wallpaper and textiles, which is the hand carved block printing process. So basically you can see here, um, this is the original block for my banana leaf pattern. And um, this creates a really wonderful print just as a, an addition block print as well. So uh, this is a tiger that uh, was the original block print for my tiger pattern. The process is basically that I will hand draw the uh, hand sketch onto this rubber sheeting here, the imagery. And I do it kind of loosely because I always re-edit what I'm carving once I go in with um, the lino cut tool. So as you can see, this is kind of like the first sketch the peony will loosely look like once I carve it. Um, as I start carving, you know, I'll kind of edit it and make it and make it more exact. Um, I just go in with my little lino cut tool and I'll just kind of follow the lines that I've made. So for the interest of time for the video, I'm going to actually just show you a block print demo of a piece I've already carved that's ready to go, which is the tiger from my tiger and magpie pattern. And um, first what I do is I take the block printing ink and I squeeze it out onto my glass palette over here. So like a nice little glob of ink there. And I'm gonna take my brayer and really roll that ink out pretty well so I don't have any clumps. I want to check to make sure it's really even. Then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to start applying it to my plate over here. So once I feel like it's pretty even and I've got him inked up, I'm going to Take my block and flip it in reverse. And I always leave a section that's carved that I can hold it by so that I will have a good steady impression. Line it up onto my paper. And then I'm going to sort of evenly press it onto the paper. This is kind of the crucial step to just make sure that all of the little details of the image that I've carved are making contact with the paper surface. And then the most fun part of it all is to see the end result. So, there is my finished print. And it really is wonderful because it comes out differently each time because the way the block print is such an imprecise method of printing that you'll see the little beauty and the imperfections.